to walk these roads What's up guys, Matt from the Football Boots team and today we're going to be doing a video which I'm going to love recording and that's because we're going to be comparing the OG Predator Mania to the all new modern version but which one comes out on top, old school or new school, let's find out. So the OG Predator Mania in that champagne colorway has an SG Soul plate and we've also got the remake Predator in that SG Pro Soul conversion. So we actually had these in FG, but had them made with some SGs as well. That was Ian's choice. But they're the two boots that we're gonna be comparing today. The OG Predator Mania and the remake Predator Mania. So when were the boots that we have here today actually released? Well, the OG Predator Mania were released back in 2002, and the most memorable moment was when Zidane scored that famous left-footed volley in the Champions League final against Bayern Leverkusen. Next up, we have the remake Predator Mania in that revenge pack, and these were released in 2014, and the reason for that was it was 20 years after the actual original Predator, as we can see here, and actually in that revenge pack, there was also a remake of the Predator Accelerator, which was one of the best of all times, one of my own personal favorites. So guys, as you all probably know, the reason for today's video is because Adidas have just released their all new champagne pack. Now that includes the Pure Control, the Pure Chaos, the Copper 17.1 and of course the Predator Mania Remake. Now I love them all, I think the Pure Control looks really good. The Pure Chaos might be a little bit too busy with those black slash graphics. The Copper 17.1 always looks sharp as included in this pack. And also the Predator Mania Remake, I love it with those nostalgic vibes. But which one is your own personal favourite in the collection? Vote in the poll card now. Looking back to 2002, the two main players for the Predator Mania were Zinedine Zidane and David Beckham, two phenomenal footballers. Now when the remakes came out, you guys might be aware that Paul Pogba actually wore these accelerators in a game, so hopefully he's going to do the same in the remake Manias. Now Hamas Rodriguez a couple of months ago was actually spotted wearing the remake Manias in the Champagne Pack colorway, so hopefully he's actually going to wear them as well, and it would just be great to see some actual top level players of right now wearing these remakes. So without doubt, the biggest question of today's video is what are the differences between the OG Mania and the Remake Mania? Well, it's actually a pretty simple one and that's because it's the upper construction. Looking at the OG one first, we can see that it's full leather all across the entire boot, even that fold over tongue, and it's gonna offer three main things. It's quite nice and thick, it's cushioned, and also it's gonna feel very luxurious and padded. Now looking at the Remake Mania, and we can see that it doesn't actually feature any leather whatsoever. Instead, it's got a hybrid touch synthetic, which you've seen across the Adidas Predator Instincts and also the LZs. Which one do I actually prefer? It would have to be the OG in that leather. I just think it feels a little bit more luxurious compared to this one, which is a little bit cheaper. Now, another significant difference alongside the upper construction is the weight of each Mania. Now, looking at the OG model first, and these actually feel pretty heavy. They weigh about 320 grams, and when you have them on feet, you can tell that they're much more heavy compared to more modern day full boots. The Remake Manias, they weigh 285 grams, so lighter than the OG, but compared to something like the Mercurial Vapor or the X from Adidas, they are still pretty heavy, so you're getting one of those more heritage feels compared to a lightweight boot. So let's get into fit and sizing of each Mania model and let me tell you straight away, you can tell that the OG Manias are much better suited to players with wider feet, especially in the midfoot and also in the toe box compared to the Remake model, which are much better suited to players like myself with normal to narrow feet. So Blake, you'd be the OG and myself, I'd be the Remake. Now let's look at the sizing and both Mania models actually feel very, very small. I'd say even a whole size small. So if you are interested in the Remakes, then maybe go a whole size or definitely half a size up just to make sure that it's not going to be too aggressive fitting. So what is the actual design Adidas have actually gone for? 
We were looking at the 2014 remakes and Adidas went for that OG colorway of the Predator in black, red and white. Now what they've done this time around is they've used their champagne colorway on the Predator Mania but put it onto the remake. So this time around you'll be seeing this champagne colorway on the remake Predator Manias. So which colorway do I actually prefer? Well, it's actually a really tough one. But what I think it comes down to is when I was younger and these Predator Manias were the boots to have, if you were a defender like me, you wore the black ones, but if you were an attacker, you wore the more flash white ones. So I think that's what it comes down to. For me, I'll be the black colorway, but I think a lot of players out there right now, especially on the pro stage, they're gonna love this champagne colorway. So if you are interested in these remakes or also in any of the new champagne pack colorways on the Pure Control, the Pure Cast or the Copper 17s, then you're definitely gonna have to be confident to wear them, but I do think they look really sharp. So one thing which we see on Nike's new Toddy Tiempo is that elasticated tongue which of course features on the Predator remake, something which I absolutely adore. Now of course that's been adopted from the original Predator Mania with that elasticated fold over tongue and it's all about folding it as far as you can and putting it across those front two studs to make them look like Beckham. Now another big, big difference between each Mania model is the sole plate itself. Looking at the OG Mania first, we can see that it's actually two separate parts of the plastic and in between that, there's just a little bit of a space and trust me, it is so stiff, it's unbelievable. But it does get a little bit more flexible around that toe box region. But the big difference is of course flexibility and although the new Champagne Pack Remake Mania comes with that sprint frame sole plate, it is still gonna be very, very similar to this one, which is again, much more flexible. So in terms of underfoot comfort, the remakes are gonna trump the old school ones for sure. Now, one feature of the Remake Manias which is slightly disappointing is the power elements. And the power elements are probably the biggest feature of the Mania full boot as a whole. Now, looking at the OG Mania first, and we can see that the power strips are actually stitched into the K-Leather upper itself, which just gives it a very luxurious feeling and also look. Now, bringing in the Remake ones, we can see because it is a hybrid touch upper, Adidas has simply just glued it on top, which is a little bit of a shame. Does it make that much difference? Probably not in terms of performance, but in terms of looking and also being quality, I think these are slightly a letdown. So the single difference that you'll find on the Champagne remakes compared to these OG ones is that the Champagne colorway is gonna come with a sprint frame sole plate, which in my opinion is much better performing compared to these ones. And it also comes on an external heel counter, whereas these ones when the 2014 remakes, they actually looked a little bit more of a scaled down OG mania compared to what they actually look like now with that sprint frame. So guys, there it is, the Adidas Champagne Predator Mania. Old school, new school, which is better? You decide.